What we have learned this week is what we believe will be the campaign for Joe Biden. And that will be relying on social media, surrogates, celebrities, and very little campaigning. And Peter Ducey asked uh, the White House yesterday on camera when he's going to hold his first campaign event. Um, didn't get much of an answer there. How does this fit into your strategy to try and dethrone a first-term president? You know, Biden could do that during COVID, right? We knew he was hiding in the basement. He was intentionally avoiding the American people. I don't think he can do that going into 2024. That's clearly a strategy. He hasn't held a single campaign event since announcing. He hasn't gone to any of the battleground states and met with voters. He hides from the press. The press has allowed him to do that. The mainstream media, of course, Fox doesn't allow that to happen. I think the voters are very unhappy. And you look at the Gallup poll that just came out. Over 80 percent of the country is dissatisfied and they do not feel like the country is heading in the right, right direction. And to have a president hole up and refuse to address the American people and talk to them, I think is not a good strategy. And when you see Republicans, they're all over. They're in Iowa, they're in New Hampshire, they're in South Carolina, they're in Nevada. All of our candidates are crisscrossing the country and they're talking to real Americans. 